Hey, what's going on? It's Brian. Um, just wanted to put together a quick video. I was doing a little bit of an experiment today where I was trying to figure out how we could potentially take the lyrics that we have in ProPresenter and send them to the OBS laptop, which is our live stream laptop, over the network instead of relying on an HDMI connection and cable running between the two machines using a protocol called NDI and basically what NDI does is it allows you to send video if you will from one machine on a network to another machine on a network and it's extremely fast there's no real delays and what this would allow us to do is instead of putting like a square slide in the bottom of our live stream we can actually create what's called a lower thirds, which is really kind of the standard, if you will, for doing things like lyrics to songs during worship live streams. So in this video, I'll show how I put it together and how we could probably get this to work for our live stream setup as well. Okay, to start out with, we're gonna go up to the screens menu and then say configure screens. And then underneath stage, we're going to create a new stage screen. In this case, I've already created one, but we would say new NDI and then pick the resolution that we want. But as I said, I've already created one for this video, and this is the one we're gonna use here. Then we're going to create a screen color, which we'll use to actually top take out the background color when we bring it into OBS with. So once we've created the screen, we then need to create a layout. So I'll go underneath the screens menu and say edit layouts. And you'll see that I've actually created a layout here with a lower third section that has slide text as an object in it. And you can see that I can come in and configure all different aspects of the text, including a fill color, a stroke color for the square, if you will, and then control when it's visible or not visible. In this case, as long as there is text on the slide, it will show in this area. And then underneath the text area, you can see the different properties for the text itself. You can decide whether you want it to scale up or down based on how much text is being sent over. You can do things like turning on um, a stroke color for the text itself. So this will allow you to put like an outline around the actual text itself. As you can see in the example here, I've done like a yellow outline then I've switched it over to a red. So you can really kind of add like a little bit of a shadow, if you will. So now that we've actually created the layout, if we go back and click on show, we can see over on the right hand side that we have our stage screen set to active. And if we go ahead and click on this background slide, you'll see this is what the congregation would see on the projector. But when we click on these particular lyric slides on the setup that we just configured, all we're going to see is the actual lyrics and not the actual background itself. So if I switch over, for example, to that screen, the stage screen, you'll see our green background and then the lower third section with the lyrics showing up in the bottom. So the next step is to actually configure OBS to view this NDI source. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over from our MacBook where ProPresenter is installed over to the live stream PC and we're going to go in and make configurations to OBS. Okay, so here we are with OBS. We can see our live camera feed and we're going to add a new NDI source under our sources. In this case, we'll just give it a name called Lyrics from MacBook. Then underneath the source name, we're going to drop down and we should see our NDI source that we configured on our MacBook. And you can now see that we have the green background with the text coming through. And we can resize this and position it the way we want it to look. And obviously we do not want to keep the green background. So what we'll do is right click on it and say filters. And under effect filters, we're going to select chroma key. We'll just click OK here. And then the key color type is green. So we'll go ahead and click close. And you can now see that the background is gone, but we see the overlay of text. 
So now if we do a side by side with our live stream PC on the left and the Pro Presenter Mac on the right, you can see as I click through the different slides, the lyrics are actually changing on the live stream feed itself in real time. So in order for this to all work properly, there's two things that I can think of that will have to be made sure of uh, on the setups that we have at the chapel. Number one, the MacBook and the live stream PC both need to be on the same network within the building. So I can confirm that. Number two, I think we may need to make some fundamental changes to the way that our lyric slides are currently formatted. And what I mean by that is I'll show you in a second here the sample content that comes with ProPresenter. We'll notice that they actually uh, format the slides with only a couple lines of lyrics each so that they are friendly for a lower third type of a scenario. So if we come in and we, for example, open up one of the slides for the sample content and say edit slide, we'll see that they have essentially two lines of lyrics per slide. And if we look at one of their other samples, they also still only have two lines of lyrics. And if we toggle over to the stage screen that we set up earlier, you can see how those lyrics are going to look on the screen. And essentially it'll fit into the box the way it is as a lower third with two lines. However, I created one that has four lines and you can see what it does is it shrinks down that box. So if I go into this slide, for example, and I select to edit this slide, and then I take out the two bottom lines of lyrics. And then I say show. And then I click on that updated slide. You'll see that it now more appropriately fits into that lower third.